Today we are going to learn about MERT file reader and file writer and how to pass the message from one folder to another local folder in our system. So this can be used for like bulk testing and benchmarkings. I personally use and prefer this way. And yep, we'll go ahead and create. A so go to channels where we generally create any channels. Right click, go to new channel. So I'm going to name this uh, channel name as file for my understanding i'll go to source and i'll change this as file reader and there are a lot of settings over here we'll, which we'll go through in the future sessions and i'll go and click on destination and i'll change this as file writer now we need to send the message from source to destination from file reader to file writer so we need to look on the place which we are going to create the folder and give the link over here what I have done is like I created a, a folder known as file reader over here and kept one sample HL7 message over here and another folder over here as a file writer so you can name it uh, as your wish folder name is not mandatory what I'll do I'll just copy this path control C and give it over here that's it and the file pattern name I gave it as star because it can pick in any particular uh, file like .txt, .hl7 or .dat and what I have done is like I'll just click on test read unable to connect hl7 file reader and we'll identify why this is not able to connect to this particular file reader right now so the in point point uh, like which we should note over here is like uh, I was giving the path of some private folder I'll just go here yep this is my private folder and uh, the mirth is will not have access to read and write access to all the folders so I should give some uh, folders which should be in desktop or in my C drive so I created another folder here I'll just close this yep uh, this is my another folder in the desktop I'll just copy this path Control copy and give it over here and we'll do a test read connection this is successful so we should always remember that whatever path which we are giving uh, that we should have complete admin rights to that particular folder we'll go back and yep I give it here txt I can give anything like star I'll go to the destination same vice versa and it will be asking me the directory over here I'll go ahead and go to desktop I'll go ahead and give this particular path over here I copied it I gave it and I should give the file name which should this particular uh, file writer should save so in the file name we need to give the name of which format it should be saved like uh, for example uh, it should be saved uh, in the in the template of like HL71, HL72 or whatever it is what I will do is like I'll drag this date and keep it over here and I just want to save the date of the particular file or even I can use this uh, unique ID over here so that it will use both date and unique ID combination in the template like what it should save in that particular file I'll use uh, encoded data even you can use like raw data and everything over here so you will know the difference between this encoded data and raw data in future so I'll just go ahead and click save changes and I'll deploy this channel before deploying it we'll just go to the folder desktop file writer and file reader okay this is file reader and even I'll create another folder with the same name we'll make sure this both are side by side I'll go to yeah file writer yeah this both are side by side you can see in the file reader it's a 08 and we don't have anything over here and I'll just open this and deploy this channel the channel is disabled or you should want to enable it yes enable it yes we are over here and let's hope uh, we have nothing has been picked up I'll just refresh yes to received and to sent when I just open it what I'll do yeah 
you can see uh, the file has been picked up and you might be thinking why this many files have been picked up over here because of the condition which we gave in the channels I'll go to source and we haven't uh, gave anything like what should this particular channel should do after like processing that so to delete it or to remove it or what to do so if I keep it as delete okay and deploy the channel once again we'll see yep this message has been deleted and we don't have anything over here means uh, it's not picking up from this particular folder and not sending it has been stopped over here so this is the basic uh, understanding about how it is, uh, the file reader and file writer works in the next session we'll be exploring all the options in the file and try to understand what's going actually uh, in this all particular parameters we'll look into it